morning guys um right excuse the state of me but i'm having a um tiny not panic but just a little rushed moment because i'm trying to make stuff for a picnic and i really want it to be slimming world friendly and i really want it to be like fun stuff because you know it's so much it's so boring when you go on a picnic and you've just got like a lettuce sandwich not that i would ever have just a lettuce sandwich but whatever so um i asked um the vegan slimming world group last night for some ideas and um, some people have given me some great suggestions. So I'm putting them into practice. So the first thing that we're gonna do um, is try and attempt to make one of the tofu quiches. So I'm not really sure how to do this if I'm totally honest. And when I've tried before, it's been okay, but it hasn't stayed together. I have my doubts as to whether or not it will this time as well, but we're gonna try it. Um, so I've, uh, yeah, I'm just about to do the potato base now and um, then I'll sort of worry about whatever else I'm doing because I think this is what's going to take the longest. Okay, we're trying to make the quiche right now. So some kind of person online, I'm so sorry, I've forgotten your name, but um, said about making the quiche and I haven't tried this for a long time. I only tried it once before. So I'm using this cake tin that you can pop open because I've had problems when I've done it before getting them out of the pan and stuff so that's um why i'm choosing to use this i really hope it works um <laughs> but you know in fairness i've only ever used this tin once before so what else um so i've cut up my potato <laughs> i just used one medium potato and i've made little bits to fit <laughs> sort of <laughs> the bottom of the pan i've got a bit left um so i've just put it into little pieces because i thought i'll just fry it up with the other veggies to go inside the quiche because that might help firm it up a little bit um, I'm not sure right now whether to spray this with anything or not. Um, I might just do it with a little bit of olive oil. Um, or should I just put it in as it is? I really don't know. No, I'm going to put it in as it is. Okay, right, the oven's on probably 200 because that's what I put everything in on. So that is going in smooth. Right, I guess. Oh my goodness. Um, let's go with 10 minutes. 11. I can't do even numbers. Okay, right. I don't know why I'm letting this stress me out so much. Um, although that's a lie, I'm not stressed. I just really want to get everything done. I've got that flurried feeling. Flurried? Is that harried? Anyway, I have that rushed feeling. <laughs> I'm going to make a coffee. That'll help it. Okay, things are going okay. I've chopped up uh, one leek and five chestnut mushrooms. Um, this is the... Um, couple of slices of potato that were left over that I just chopped into little pieces. I'm going to use my... Oh, that's the timer going off for the oven. Oh no. Right, we'll check that in a sec. Let me get this going. Oh, that's so stressful. Right, so we're using rapeseed oil spray. I'll just actually show you it. Um, and I like these because I'm not a massive... Four, five. I'm not a massive fan of fry light. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so that's 10 sprays. Um, yeah, I don't really like fry light, it's just a chemical thing. So I uh, I like to use the spray olive oil um, or rapeseed oil or whatever. They're um, half a sin for five sprays. So I've just used 10 sprays and uh, that is one sin for my quiche so far. So just kind of looks dried out, so. I'm just going to put it back in for like another 10 minutes. Okay, Delta is being really chirpy and squawky, so I do apologise. I hope you can hear. Um, all right, so I haven't just like done loads of prep, um, but this is the leek onion, uh, sorry, leek mushroom and potato mix, just starting to saute. This is two packets that I bought last night. I shall show you. Um, this mix, they're literally just the veggies chopped up. I wouldn't normally buy these. I don't like buying pre-chopped vegetables. Um, they they don't contain any oil or anything um, and they were reduced to 44p. So I bought two packets of them because you know, they're always useful. I'm gonna put, how much oil should we put on? Another 10 sprays. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll mix them round and we'll put them in the oven since it's on for the quiche anyway. So um, then I've got them to either have later today or mix with couscous is really what I was thinking. Okay, these are looking like they're going nicely. 
Um, I feel like I've done the right amount of veg, not too much. So I'm relatively pleased with that. Um, I'm thinking, I don't have any big tomatoes to slice on top, but I do have cherry tomatoes, so I could have them and put them like cut side up on top. That might look cute, but we'll see how we go. Um, for now, I need to make the tofu mix, um, but I also wanted to make hummus, and both need a blender, so maybe I'll do the hummus first, because I can decant that into a pot, and then I'll do the tofu, because then it can wait for this to be ready and potato to be ready. Okay, the hair's gone behind the ears. See, this is like where it gets like, um, but anyway, you see how the like planning process goes. So you kind of like, obviously, you know, I don't have the biggest kitchen in the world. I have a decent sized kitchen, so you can see, you know, I've got quite a lot of counter space that side. The other side, I don't really have too much, but it is there if I move some stuff around. Um, but, you know, you just make do with what you've got. Obviously I've got one blender. It's not a Vitamix, it's not a, oh, I can't do it, I hate it. <laughs> it's not a Vitamix, it's not a Ninja, it's nothing special, it's just um, quite an old, like probably five years old, like Kenwood thing. But do you know what, it does the job. Um, it has served me so well, that blender. So um, you don't need any fancy kitchen equipment, you just have to work with what you've got and um, do a little bit of planning. Hence me working out, I'm gonna do the hummus first and then the couscous. So. Yeah, let's just see how the hummus goes. I'm a bit dubious about this. It's not worked when I've tried it before, but we'll see, yay. Okay, my veg has actually reduced down a lot. Um, the mushrooms have not gone watery, or rather at least they've released all their water or something like that. Maybe I should have put more in. I'm now thinking I haven't got enough veg. Oh God, this is so stressful. Um, but that's okay, we'll just work it out. So I've just put the heat right down um, and I did have a bag of spinach. So I'm gonna chuck in the bag of spinach because that'll bulk it out a little bit. We all know what happens to spinach. And um, and then I'll just take it off the heat because I've just put my chickpeas in the food processor, which is annoying because I could have done the tofu, but that's fine, it's fine. It's all gonna be okay. So yeah, okay, I'll see you in two. Oh my God, the stress. Right, the time has just gone off for the potatoes again. Um, I've just put my whole bag of spinach in, which, 220 grams, there you go, so that's that. So we'll just try and get that done. I'm gonna check the potatoes. Oh, I'm flustered now. Okay, right, the potatoes are looking much better now. So that was two lots of 11 minutes, although the second one was more like 14. Um, but yeah, they've got some color on. I'm slightly concerned that they are actually completely stuck. Oh no, they're not, not totally. Well, that's good. Um, Okay, right, I'm gonna unstick all of them before I put the mixer on, just in case. Um, this is now completely wilted. As you can see, it reduces massively, but there is now a large proportion of spinach to the leek and mushroom, but that's fine. It, it'll just bulk it out. I'm sorry about Delta squawking. Um, I've turned the heat off, so um, I'm just gonna quickly make my hummus so that I can have the blender free to then make the tofu mixture so that I can get this back in the oven and then, oh God, this is stressful. <laughs> It's not stressful at all, I'm lying. It's just that it's, I always feel very flustered and rushed when I'm trying to do a lot at once, but it's actually fine because it always works out okay in the end. Okay, hummus update. Oh my God, the mess, the mess. But half of it is just shopping I haven't put away yet. Um, I just crushed two garlic cloves and took the skins off, chopped the little nubbly bit off. So I'll just pop them in. This is a drained tin of chickpeas. Not particularly well drained, it must be said. <laughs> and um, ha juice of half a lemon. I may put the other half in we'll have to do a taste test. I'm just gonna put in um, salt, normal salt and pepper and this yogurt. I think that's it, we'll see. All right, so I would say the amount of yogurt I used was a small waggle of the pot over the thing. <laughs> so maybe, maybe three tablespoons. I don't know if that's too much or too little. We're gonna find out in a minute. Um, a big pinch of salt, a big pinch of black pepper. So um, yeah, away we go. I'm sad, there is way too much liquid in here. Can I open this with one hand? I mean, can I demonstrate this to you? I mean, it's like porridge. I'm gonna go get another tin of chickpeas. <laughs> Okay, so this is a much better consistency now. I'm happy with the consistency. The only problem is, I mean, there's, um, there's a good hit of garlic, so I'm happy with the garlic. There's not too much lemon, but if I put more lemon, it's gonna make it a little bit more watery, which I don't want, because this is a good consistency right now. So I think we found the sweet spot. 
three tablespoons of yogurt to two tins of chickpeas. <laughs> Drain them better than I did, <laughs> i.e. with a sieve, not using your hands. Um, what I might do, I'm just tasting it. It's just not got that little sharpness to it. It's pretty good otherwise, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty impressed. So, um, okay, I'm just gonna show you guys my spice drawer. Excuse the mess. I'm in the middle of trying to redo my jars to these ones. These are my old ones. And then I'm gonna get proper labels done. But what I was gonna show you was, I have this Wicked Kitchen lemon garlic and herb seasoning and I'm thinking I might throw some in and that might just be the kicker. And of course, then um, that will do it without adding any more liquid. Yeah, so I'm gonna try that and then I'll okay, feed guys. back. Oh, I'm still eating it. Mm. Oh, it's lush. Mm. That was the kicker. Right, that sorted it right out. So this is sin free still. I'm so happy. So this is the Wicked Kitchen lemon, garlic and herb seasoning. It does say it's got lemon oil in it. I mean, I'm still gonna, I mean, it's the last ingredient, so it won't be that much. And I used like half a teaspoon, <laughs> so maybe a tiny bit more, but I mean, you know, it's gonna be a negligible amount. So this is what it is. Red bell pepper, garlic, sea salt, lemon peel, rosemary, parsley, and lemon oil. It also tastes like fennel. Oh, I was gonna say, it's fennel. Um, but yeah, so now it's hummus with a little crunch. Oh, so good, I'm very happy. I have to quickly do my, uh, that's the spare chickpeas I brought just in case two wasn't enough. Um, I have to quickly do my tofu topping and get that quiche in the oven because otherwise it's all gonna go peak tong. Okay, hummus done. Um, it filled this little jar and this little one. So I'll probably just take this little one with me because I'm not gonna need that much. I'm making loads of food. <laughs> okay, I've cleaned up the side a bit because I could not work in those circumstances. I'm scared of that other two chickpeas. Doobie doo, that was never there. Okay, so I've got my random half a lemon. That's not really there for any reason. Oh, I can use it on my couscous. Perfect, I will use it. Um, I'm not washing this out, why bother? Um, silk and tofu, black pepper, black salt, which is Kalanamak, the one that tastes like egg, basically. Um, this is my one, and <clears throat> nutritional yeast. So that's gonna make our tofu quiche topping. Doesn't this look attractive? Um, I love the way silk and tofu comes out. I don't think I've ever had it come out so perfectly before. Um, I've got three tablespoons of nutritional yeast in here, um, which added to the 10 sprays of oil makes this four sins for the whole quiche. Um, obviously hoping to split it into quarters and get four portions. So yeah, um, I've also got two big pinches of black pepper and like five big grinds of this. The problem is loads comes out. So I'm really reluctant to put more than that in. Um, I just don't want it to be too salty. I've made that mistake before with that one. So, okay, so here's the finished product. Um, I love silk and tofu, it's so satisfying. Look at that, little beaut. Smells so eggy right now. Um, I guess I could try a little bit and see. Um, Yeah, it's okay. Um, I don't think it's overly salty. I'm not putting any more in because I'm trying not to use too, too much salt at the moment. So I'm just gonna mix all this into my veggies and make up the quiche. So now we mix, mix, mix. Listen. Oh, gooey. <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moist. <laughs> okay, I'm not a million percent sure it's meant to look like this, but whatever. So I've smoothed it out as best I can. Um, I'm just debating whether to do cherry tomato. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay, that looks so much better. <laughs> um, cool, right, it's going in now. Wish me luck. Sorry about the bird. Listen to her. Delta. Honestly, she wants attention, that's all it is. <laughs> Okay, it's going in the oven, bye. Okay, I must confess, I totally forgot that I was also doing roasted veg. So um, I'm just gonna quickly make up some couscous to go with them, and that's another salad done. I think that should be enough. <laughs> it's just whole wheat couscous with a nor stock pot, stock cube. Uh, that is way enough water. And then, oh, where's my spoon? Dissolve, damn you, dissolve. I'm sure this is a scintillating bit of viewing for you. Um, <laughs> do you know, 
it's been like an hour and I still haven't made my bloody coffee and I really, really want it. And, um, oh dear. But we're nearly there now, as much as it may not seem like it. There we go. Right, so just leave that to sit. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go make a coffee and just, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm very chuffed with these. <laughs> look how pretty they look. Um, so I've just used between these two pots, and I just did two because of the amount of veg I cut because I like to have variety. And it means that I've got some for tomorrow as well. Uh, or just keeping my fridge for snacking on. So it's a whole green pepper, a whole yellow pepper, a whole red pepper, one chunk of cucumber, so that's half the chunk in each, seven radishes between the two, and one carrot um, just peeled and chopped between the two. But yeah, how pretty does that look when you just take a bit of time to arrange it? Um, <laughs> in fairness, it took, takes two seconds. <laughs> so uh, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna make up my couscous and then clear up this frigging disaster zone, look. Oh, and by the way, it's like ages later and I haven't had my bloody coffee. Okay, and breathe. Things are starting to come together. I've cleared the side. I haven't wiped it yet, so don't judge. I've done the washing up. <laughs> um, I know I do have a dishwasher, but it's one of the half size ones. And when I do loads like this, I always wash up because a, it doesn't fit in there, and B, it's, I just like to get it out of the way. Okay, so the couscous salad, we've got the couscous is cooked, added the roasted veg, and I've got some dill, some mint, and some parsley that I'm gonna chop up and throw in. Um, I squeezed over the juice of the other half of the lemon, and to be honest, that'll do. And you'll be pleased to know, so I stopped whinging, I have my coffee. This is my three sin at home almond coffee, almond latte, and I love it. It is definitely comparable to Costa and um, my milk froth is one of the best things I've ever bought. So yeah, okay, I've just wiped over the side, which is why they're all looking bubbly, but look at this quiche, how good does it look? I'm really scared to open it. It's roasting hot, um, but I'm gonna try it. No, should I leave it, oh, mm. should I let it sit? I think I probably should let it sit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let it sit for a, a little bit just to cool down. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay guys, it's like two minutes later and I just got overexcited and tried to open it. And um, yeah, and the thing, and it all like came apart. So actually I don't think this is gonna work at all, which I'm a little bit gutted about. So I've just done it back up. Um, I'm gonna go around the edge with a knife and then I am gonna leave it um, for as long as I possibly can and then open it. I think probably half the problem is that it's still warm. Like with a cake, you're gonna leave it, aren't you? So. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see the steam rising from it. It's so hot. Um, I just laid everything else out, ready for, you know, photo ops, baby. Um, I'm sorry about that voice. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go get ready for my day since I'm now fairly organized and um, I love it when everything comes together. <laughs> it's like five minutes later, but I couldn't wait. I, I'm sure you know by now I'm, I'm really impatient. So. Basically, I went all around the edges with a knife and um, it's still really hot, but I went all around the edges with a knife just to separate it from the springy bit and that sorted it right out. So then it just came straight off. So it was only because it was stuck to it. Um, now I really am going to leave it for a while. You can see how much steam is escaping still, which, you know, is what it is. Um, I don't know why the lighting's so weird. It looks better in real light. That makes it look a bit more like it does. It's a bit darker in real life. I don't know why it's looking so light. Um, also, I forgot, I found them at the bottom of the bag. I bought some cherries yesterday. Um, these were a pound, so I thought that was very reasonable. So I'm gonna take cherries with me as well. Hey guys, shock horror, I'm wearing makeup. Literally, it is mid-June now, and I haven't worn makeup since March, before I got ill, so that's a turn up for the books. However, I am only wearing mascara because like I'm trying to let my fle freckles fly free. <laughs> freckles fly free. That's a tongue twister. Um, I'm shiny because I've just got some suntan lotion on. So um, yeah, okay. Um, it feels really, really weird wearing makeup again. Like I always wore makeup before, but because I haven't worn it in so long, I feel a bit like a painted doll. <laughs> so that's... Um, a strange sensation but on the other hand it also feels really nice to actually be wearing makeup again so maybe this will be the way forward just mascara and no foundation who knows anyway i'm just packaging up my um food and 
this doesn't help you because it's still on me. I'm just gonna turn the camera around. Okay, so I've got my smaller thing of hummus, my um, veggie stick things, crudite, sorry. This was a feat of engineering to cut. Um, however, it has miraculously held together. So I've managed to get myself a portion. So that's one sin. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, and I'm gonna put some couscous salad in this one as well. Um, I don't have any green leaves, but on the other hand, there's so much spinach in the quiche that I think it's okay not to. Um, normally I would go for a green salad, but I just have so much food. It's absolutely fine not to, I think, in this occasion. So um, this couscous salad is just one sin for the whole thing. So, I mean, crikey, how much food do I really need? I mean, I mean, I haven't even had it anyway. I've had like probably a quarter, maybe not even a quarter. Put another spoonful in, that'll call that a quarter. Put a bit of red on top. See, so this is how you make food look nice. You just do a mix of colors and then uh, just get a little bit of this red onion and pop it. Oh no, pop it there. I can go in the corner like that. And we need something on that side, maybe another red bit, so there. So it's still just mushed together, but it looks quite pretty as well. Put yellow on there. So that was a bit of a big bit. Oh well. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, we'll, I mean, it's like a quarter, so a quarter of a sin, but we'll call it half a sin um, for the couscous salad and one sin for the quiche, so that's one and a half sins. This is totally sin free, cherries are free. So, I mean, that's quite a nice big picnic thing. Um, and I'll take probably an iced coffee and um, water and a cold drink with me as well. Please ignore my attractive sitting, but here is my lovely picnic spread out. Hilariously, I forgot a fork, so my friend had to lend me a spoon.